Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 28 of Darwell20's Enigmatica 2 Expert Series. Today I'm going to build, quote unquote build, super air quotes, build uh, a blood magic area. Uh, now the last couple times I've done this, we spent the episode gathering the required materials. Um, and, and feedback on those episodes was pretty much along the lines of, uh, it's not super entertaining to watch you gather materials, Direwolf. And I get that. I do. So today we're going to do something a little bit different as an experiment to see how you guys react. Uh, so instead of gathering all the materials, because this is a big one. It's a big building. It's a really cool looking one, though. Uh, and I really like it. But there's a lot of materials and they're all very big. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just flip myself to creative mode, paste the building in so that we don't actually have to spend I'll, I'll be honest with you guys like the the 30 minute episodes that i did in the past to to do collecting of resources actually took me about three to four real life hours to gather all the resources because it involved lots of mining lots of crafting lots of gathering materials so roughly three to four real life hours of of work went into to making those episodes um and that's a lot of time and effort so i think i might just cheat this one in and hopefully you guys don't hate that too much let me know in the comments if you're cool with this or not um so what we're gonna do is paste in the paste bin code which i will go ahead and get for you guys right off the bat so that we have it right so there it is cool that's it booyah okay so you can grab that paste bin code if you want to have this building uh in your in your world it's a pretty nice looking one so let's load it up and check it out, shall we? So, like I said, this one we're gonna just flip into uh, creative mode because when you're when you're in creative, the copy paste gadget and all other building gadgets doesn't care if you have resources in your inventory or not. It'll just go ahead and immediately uh, place them in. So let's see. I think we've got something going on here. Yeah, we might need to to get this guy ready to roll. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to need to raise him up a little bit because I think this paste was copied from the top. So we're going to need to raise it up a little bit. So let me first start off. I think I'm going to put it in this corner of, of the map, right? So like over there is my main base, Thaumcraft here, Astral Sorcery here. This spot seems like a nice place to carve out for blood magic. Does that sound cool? So uh, first things first, we're going to need our destruction gadget and we're going to need to be prepared uh, to void all the things. So let's depth of 16, 8 and 8, down 1, up 15. That's kind of like your perfect, uh, if you will, void large area thing. And that should be good. 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 Oh, there we go. It was just a little bit of lag. Okay, cool. I was like, what's going on here? Hello. There we go. What's up with this guy? Why he being a little bit uh, misbehavey? I might have to look into. Is there something wrong with TPS? No, we're cool. We're just being a little bit slow about deleting things, but that's okay. Um, and we'll probably want to clear out this top layer, actually. There we go. Now we're cooking. Oh, you know what? I'm getting credit for... That's why. Interesting. I'm getting credit. That's why there's a lag burst. Look, I'm getting credit for voiding the blocks um in, in in astral that's interesting so that's kind of cool because i think every block that gets removed here astral is kind of saying like hey i should give you experience for and that might be causing a little bit of a lag spike that might be a thing i need to talk to um the astral mod dev about there it goes. Wow, that is definitely a lag spike. Okay, cool. So let me uh, clear out some terrain here for a minute, and then we'll be ready to paste this thing in. All right, so lots of uh, voiding blocks later, lots of uh, messing around, and I think we're ready. So let's take a look at you. I want to put you more along the lines of here. Let's make sure I understand how this, how this thing looks. 
right? So I think I'm gonna try and move you like here and let's anchor you, right? So how's this thing look? In terms of fitting in this area, nice. I got it pretty well positioned, I think. Um, cool, yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, look at that, huh? We'll see it, we'll see it in a minute, we'll be inside. All right, so with this anchored like so, are you, wow, we are literally right up against the wall, but good enough. <laughs> good enough cool so let's 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 get this thing placed so first off there are some grass um, blocks down here but there's a few um, blocks underground here so you can see that so we might want to see about uh, or do we want to just drop it down um, Trying to figure out exactly. So there's definitely one or two blocks where there's there's a there's a block down there. Let's drop it down one Y level. So that's cool. I want it to be flush with the ground for the most part. Um, so what I'd like to see is this be flush with the ground. So what we need to do is map out exactly where that's gonna be, right? So like, if we went to here, let's put a cobblestone block like so, right? to actually here i want to catch the corners right and then what i'm going to do is clear out like two block spaces down one two maybe three block spaces down here right so like along that line should be all cleared out um and then we'll just fill it back in as needed right so from there To write about, I want to make sure I'm lined up with that cobblestone block. Yeah, so we're at Z356. Okay, so you should be right about here. Okay, and then this is X19. Let's get you to the back end here. X19, Z400. Okay, so everything within these, these blocks needs to be voided three layers deep. So let me do that real quick with the destruction gadget. Cool. So you, mmm, baguette. Okay, so let's do it like so. This should be a good way to go, right? A couple more to the right. That looks good, okay. So what we're gonna do is depth of three that? I think three that should be good. Okay. Cool. Oh, that's right, I'm recharging my battery. Uh, so you, is that where we want it? Yeah, that looks good. Let's just uh, clear this this way. That looks pretty cool, right? And remember, this is gonna be underneath the building, so it doesn't have to be perfectly clean down here. And we'll tidy it up once the building is placed and get like grass placed back down. Okay, cool. So let's go get our charger. See why I wanted to focus on getting this uh, air sigil? It's the best. All right, it's probably not the best, but it's pretty darn cool. I like it. So like right about here is where we wanna be hooked up, right? Yeah, that looks good. And I did talk to, uh, 
to, to Hellfire about what's up. And as suspected, it's something I'm doing a little bit wrong. It's, it's, a, weird, uh, it's a weird set of uh, circumstances, but basically I'm doing something a little bit wrong. So he pointed me in the right direction and I should be able to fix it relatively easily. So minor bug fix in building gadgets for me to do. But yeah, you shouldn't be getting experience for doing voids. Um, and that is probably what's causing a little bit of the lag spike. All right, so then the last thing we need to do is basically have you here. I think that works. And then here. And then here. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Nice. All right, so that should make the basement reasonably positioned, right? So that if we check that out now, right? And we'll, we might wind up having to fill in some aspects of this. In fact, could I have my building gadget? Let's flatten this out at least. Horizontal wall. Uh, I'd like you to be filled with cobblestone because I don't have that much smooth stone. Range of 15. Hey, buddy. Cool. Never hurts to have a few more air crystals, right? Okay, so now if we check the copy-paste tool, right, we should still be anchored in the position that it was. Um, let's remove you for a sec. This guy should be good to go down a few Y levels, right? Looking good. Looking good. And then we'll fill it in with dirt uh, after we've placed it. But I wanted to have a nice square area, right? So down. Now, a few people have suggested that um, I, I change the functionality of the copy-paste tool to make it so that it can overwrite blocks. That was a design decision originally to not let it do that. Um, because, you know, basically there were reasons I didn't want it to do that. It's a little bit tricky. It relates to like the undo functionality and I don't know, there's, there's, there's reasons that I didn't want it doing that. Um, so, you know, we'll see. I, I don't think I want to add that functionality, but we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, so long story short, this block requires a few thousand of many different things. Um, so like I said at the beginning of the episode, I'm just going to creative mode this one rather than uh, going in. Clearly, I'm not, you know, gaining anything super uber from doing this paste, right? There's no, there's no like, amazing amount of resources that I'm going to be able to harvest from this. It's not, not super cheating, but it's a little bit cheating, but we'll see. So again, let me know in the comments. What do you think about me doing for, for, because I might do this in the future too, right? If it's a, if it's thousands of blocks that I need to go create and find and craft and it takes me three to four hours of off time, offline gameplay time to do, do you guys really care that I'm not doing that and cheating it in? And to be totally fair, I could very easily just lie and be like, oh yeah, off camera, I got all these blocks and now I'm good, right? But no, I'm not doing that. So uh, I'm, I'm being honest with you guys, the audience. So all I got to do is game mode one, right click to paste and there we go. And then game mode zero. Hi sheep, he came to look. He's like, whoa, look at that cool building. Let's take a look. Um, so, so this guy uh, was submitted by Dark Pawnage on Twitter. Dark Pawnage on Twitter submitted this building and I think it looks really cool. Um, very, very large structure for sure. Uh, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to get, you know, some starlight power going on here so that we can get some regen happening. Um, we might wind up doing a few things with this. Um, he structured it, <coughs> uh, such that, you know, a lot of the blocks that are needed for, um, for, for the blood altar are kind of laid out and in place already, but a couple of them were misplaced. So sorry, dark bondage, but. Um, so like here, if this is going to be this glowstone block, is supposed to be the altar, right? Underneath here is the tier two altar. And these blocks are supposed to be placed for the tier three altar. They need to be one block down. 
Um, but if you place these cobblestone blocks one block down below where they are, I think everything else is actually laid out correctly. Um, so I think that's cool. We might need one or two other tweaks or changes, but we'll fill that in as we expand the altar. So that is a really nice looking structure. So thank you, Darko Pawnage. Very cool. I think it looks great. There were, there were, there were quite a few uh, Blood Magic submissions, uh, and I, I had trouble deciding which one I wanted to go with. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I decided to go with this one, so I did. So it's, it's, it's a slick, slick build. Very cool. Um, I think there might be a few things that I need to go um, and, and add in after the fact, but I, not too much. He had um, these, these channels here he had filled with liquid blood. He thought that looked really cool. So I might go ahead and populate that and, and fill that in, but we'll see. Um, and that above us is, a, is enlightened clear glass, by the way. So I think that generates light. I'm pretty sure it does. So we'll see. Let's let's see what F7 looks like in here. Not bad. There's a couple very small dark spots, but nothing too terrible. In fact, that's interesting. There's sooty marble pillars here, but there's not on this side. I'm thinking maybe they were supposed to be there. So maybe I'll add those. But yeah, pretty cool, right? I think I think it's an, a, a really impressive building. So thank you again, Darko Ponich. All right, let me, uh, with my building gadget now, uh, do some build to me with dirt so I can fill in this basement. And we'll be back in a few minutes. Hey guys, by the way, looks pretty good in here at nighttime. Just saying. Just saying. It's a cool looking nighttime temple. All right. All right, now that we've got a super cool uh, setup for our blood magic area, let's move everything over there. What do you guys say? Does that sound like a plan? Um, also, part of me wants to know, how do I look with regards? Yeah, 108,000 LP stored in my personal LP network. That's cool. Because uh, I've been using that air sigil a lot. And I don't recall that air sigil using a lot of LP to let you fly around. So it's it's a pretty pretty nice little device. Right? I think it's I think it's a good time. So let's get you guys. Let's get these things moved. You might have some stuff in you. We're gonna wanna grab this guy. Right? Uh, we'll take these things with us. Or do we wanna hold off on them? Because we got a few other things to move. We'll keep all this stuff here-ish. Yeah, that should be cool. All right, you. Uh, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me this back. We need that. We need that. We need all those. We got eight of them. We should have ten of those. Eighteen of those? I thought it should be ten. Oh, right, right, right. Plus eight, yeah. Uh, and ten of those. Perfect. Cool. And then uh, just fill in... Nice. Uh, we're going to want this guy. I, I have to figure out where I'm going to place him. Uh, whether he'll be inside that building or outside, I'm not entirely sure. Because um, we do want to have some, you know, tranquility and peaceful effects going on. And we want to upgrade that guy today. So we'll see if we can come up with a good place for him to live. Cool. And then we also need to move this thing so that we can have uh, some nice regen effects going on. Cool. Cool. For now, though, let's just get the altar up and running. So that's the altar, right? You go here, okay? And to replicate the setup we had before, okay, you're gonna be, now that's charred nether brick from Quark. See, see the crazy resources? Really nice looking building, relatively expensive. Okay, so that should be a tier two altar now capacity tier two cool so we have to remove all these guys right and then the thing is we need below you hey cool look at that there's this neat little underground area yeah if i'm not mistaken this is the way it's supposed to look so we'll get you in place. 
Okay. Um, and then augmented capacity runes can go here. And we might go with a tier four altar pretty soon. Because once we get tier four, then we can do blood magic rituals, which unlock a lot of cool and powerful stuff. But we'll we'll see. I want to get into astral some more. I want to do blood magic some more. I want to do all the things. Um, so now that we've... I don't want to make too much of a mess here. I think I'll do is just that. And let's just make sure that you're a happy tier three. Capacity tier three. These might need to be down one. Let's see. Uh, where's my inspectus scientifum thingy? Flying over. Get the book. Huzzah! So set to three. I might need glowstone blocks one level lower here. Right? Yeah, yeah, they need to be one little lower. Okay, so for you guys. And I have a chisel, so let's stick with the design that Darko did. So uh, you with an eye chisel can put this guy. It was which one of these was it? Uh, the one with that weird pattern in it. Is it this one? Bismuth? Man, there's a lot of them. Bismuth tile. Yeah, that's it. Bismuth tile. Cool. And hopefully you accept that as a valid tier 3 altar material. Okay. Current tier is 3. Hooray. Perfect. Cool. So then what I think I'll do is put these charred dudes here. Because that looks pretty good, right? Yeah, I like that. And then um, these cobblestones are correct for the tier 4. Right? Because if I set you to tier 4... See how it's rendering them there? So yeah, that's where the tier 4 rooms need to go. Okay. So that's good. That's That's the correct placement for it. Nice. All right. Not too shabby. We might we might rearrange things a little. I don't know. We'll see. I like it. I think it's good. I think it looks cool. Fancy. All right. Um, tranquility. How and where do we want to do tranquility? We should also consider moving all these things. So let's put away some junk. Do you guys like how uh, we now just crash and break our legs every time we move anywhere I do I think it's cool um, you can go away you can go away uh, the redstone and the comparator we're gonna hang on to as are we gonna do the item ducks and all that stuff uh, but this extra glowstone can go away and that's cool for now do I need my slime sling anymore I'm gonna say no no reason to carry that thing around when I've got such an awesome gadget. <clears throat> so we've got... Let's put away the Inspectus, and let's put away the Sentient Sword for now, so I can... Actually, let's just put away the Inspectus. And that should be cool. And then we'll zip back over here. And we're good to go. All right, guys, so next order of business... Uh, I took a copy, see, highlighted that area, uh, of this structure so that we could replace it back at the other location. Cool. So maybe a quick build to me gadget. Uh, where are you at, gadget? Where are you at? Building gadget. You know, horizontal wall should probably be better. There we go. Whoosh. So where can I set this up? 
so that it'll have access to the sky and work while also, like I think it has to see the sky. I think that's a need, right? I mean, it makes sense that it would have to see the sky. Um, so we can't hide it like under the altar or anything like that. That would be cool if it would work, but I'm almost certain it needs visibility to the sky. Um, like most things in, in Astral, right? Um, so I mean, like we could try hiding it under there, but I would be shocked, shocked if it worked. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of junk under here. I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna try. I'm almost certain it won't. And before somebody comments, I tested it, it worked fine. It might, it might, but I would expect it not to. So, so that means inside this building may not be a good place for it. But I think what I can do um, is set up outside um, the, the astral structure, right? Um, Hey, look, an angel block. Whoosh. I'll just trash you. <coughs> That's probably uh, was used for the copying. Hey, look at that. Cool. Neat. This building is so neat looking. I love it. Okay. So uh, what I'm thinking, we could set it up outside. And maybe out here would also be a nice place to have my tranquility altar. Right? So what we could do... Um, is building gadget our way into filling in this little lake that we got going on here. So I, I guess we'll just do one layer. Sorry, squids. Right? Um, we could probably fill it in out like this. Okay. Uh, maybe a little bit more just to like kind of even the terrain out a bit. Yeah, that looks cool. So this could be like our tranquility area, right? We might need a little bit more um, space for the full tranquility effect, but we'll see. Nice. Give me all that stuff. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe straight out the back door, right? So we're in here, we're doing our, 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 our stuff, right? And then we come out here and we have that tranquility altar. Let me map out how big a full size tranquility altar is. And then I might have to clear some terrain to get it going. Okay, so now let's take care of a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And we should be coming up with, we need more dirt. That's what we need. By the way, this is my dirt farm. I just, you know, travel really far away and then vein mine out a pretty large area. I found with vein miner, by the way, if you hold down the key while it's going, it just keeps going for a lot longer. Like when you release the key, it stops vein mining. So there's a limit, obviously, to how much it can do. Um, like if I... Uh, actually, need to eat food before to demonstrate this. Right? Hold down the key, let go, it stops. Right? Hold down the key, keep it held down, it keeps going until it runs out of, like, it, until it hits its max size. Right? So, 100% uh, want to keep the key held down to get that max voiding area. Sweet. Ambient grass block from Fallcraft, huh? That's cool. I was wondering why that didn't vein my grass block. It's different. neat. All right, so that should have gotten me hefty amounts of dirt. Air sigil our way back. I just kind of like go far away to an area that you know won't won't be too far away, but also not too terrible if I decide to you know do stuffs, and then you know we're cool. Oh hey, look you. Where's my building gadget? Can we undo you? Thanks. Yeah, I should have made you. That should be good. Are you guys? Yeah, we have that in there. Nice. A for undos. <laughs> <laughs> when you when you derp a little bit, undo for the win. 
<laughs> All right, exchanging. Cool. And horizontal wall should be good to fill that in, actually. There you go. All the better. All right, now we should have a pretty decent size area. I, I checked online. What we're looking at is a 21 by 21 area for a full-sized Tranquility Altar, which I think is tier five, which it might be a while before we get there, but we should probably plan for it, right? Like that's what I'm thinking. We should definitely plan for a properly sized Tranquility Altar. So let's just put away some of this junk that we accumulated from all this clearing of stuff. Is that cool? Yeah, I think so, just you. And then we'll once we have the Tranquility Altar in place, we'll place the, the Regen Altar. All right, so it looks like this is a 21 by 21 sized area. I think I'm gonna move it up two more, just so that we can have a little bit different. All right, so let's get you 21 by 21. Does that look cool? So like the center, I didn't, I did something wrong. Uh, we made it 20. I thought I was cool. I, I probably just let go at the wrong time. So 21. By 21, perfect. Okay, so those are the opposite corners of our stuff. How did an oxide daisy get in here? I have no idea. I don't even know how these things happen. Um, cobble, 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 dirt, 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 dirt. There it is. Uh, so that'll be our 21 by 21 area. And you can see like the number 21 being centered on the center of the door frame is, is where I'm going here, right? So here, is this centered? This should be centered, okay. Now the center three blocks, I don't think matter. Uh, but we'll find out if they do for some reason, but I'm pretty sure you can do whatever you want here. Cool. So that should be our incense altar. And I'll put my Hellfire Forge up here too. So we have that ready. Cool. So a few things we still need to automate in here but we'll get to them. Cool, we'll get there. I have to get the automation back up and running. Um, there's a few things we need to do. We're just planning out right now how things are gonna work. So hit that dude up right there. 21, 21, looking good. Sweet, I like it. So that'll be our incense altar, right? So we wanna, you know, we're in here, we're doing our blood magic -y stuff, we run out here real quick. We recharge our peaceful properties, haha, <laughs> tranquility. And then, uh, you know, we're, we're ready to, you know, blood magic again. Cool. I like it. Looking cool. All right. I think we have to wrap up the episode here. So let's do this. Next episode, we'll come back. We'll start building out um, the incense altar so that I think we can at least get it because we have a tier three altar. We can, we can use the tier three orb because um, <clears throat> basically what you do is um, you expand out first with wooden paths which needs a tier two orb or higher. And then you can expand out with stone brick paths, which needs a tier three orb or higher, right? Uh, Magician is the lowest tier that's available for this craft, right? And then from there, um, worn stone brick, I think is the next tier. And that needs tier four or higher. So like master is the lowest one. And then finally you get obsidian brick, which is tier five or higher orb required for that craft. So basically, um, and then as you expand it out, you uh, put stuff around it and you'll get more and more tranquility and all this stuff is good, right? So next episode though, for now, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We'll be back next time uh, and we will continue along this path. For now, take it easy.